Welcome back to our channel, guys. Hey! <laughs> so on the last video, if you guys watched it, we put all of our top cabinets in on the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. And I think it came out so amazing. Yeah, and it's been so nice these, like, for the last, like, two days now, uh, having actual cabinets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to figure out where everything goes, yeah. put some food away, different things. Yeah. But that's only half of our kitchen that yeah. needs to get done. <laughs> so we do have the bottom cabinets, and we have these uh, butcher block countertops that we want to install. So today, we're going to be putting in those bottom cabinets. I got a seal this butcher block with this butcher block sealer. It's like oil, right? It's food grade oil. Yep. It's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, so I got to get that done because it does take about five to six hours, they say, to let it dry, mm -hmm. and, like absorb. And so I figured we can get that done now. And then while it's drying, we can start installing the cabinets. Yeah. So, you know what I'm really excited for is to see how much the color changes on the countertops. Might get a little bit darker. Yeah. It might be very similar to what it looks like now. Yeah. We're going to have to find out. Yeah, I'm excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so I say let's get it. Yeah. We're getting ready to start uh, sealing or putting that um, sealer on the butcher block. And we hear this like weird noise. And it sounds kind of like air is coming out of like a, like a compressor. It's all shh. So we come out here and we're trying to figure out what the noise is coming from. And Anthony's like, I don't know, do you think that's like a bug or something? I'm like, I don't know. And then, you know, well, we throw an idea out there that maybe it's a rattler, a rattlesnake. Well, and it is a rattlesnake. Yeah, and the cats are over there and it was just going crazy. And I've never heard a real rattlesnake before because I've never, I've seen, seen them, but they've been dead. Uh, so there's a rattlesnake over there. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at either. <laughs> the cats are still over there, so that kind of leads me to believe that it's still maybe over there. We're trying to get the cats away from there. Yeah, we, I don't want to go over there. Yeah, I don't want to go over there either. The cats it, who, don't listen. Yeah, who knows where it could be because there's all this brush and all these leaves. So it could be up underneath there heading towards us right now. I don't know. Uh, or I'm just hoping it took off and it's just going that way oh still there. it's still there it's still there Where's it at? the cats are messing with it oh it's a big freaking rattlesnake <laughs> beat it sylvia come here kitties beat it sylvia you see it right there right there Oof. well all i gotta say guys is there are certain animals in my opinion they do not need to be around my animals myself my son my wife so that one had to go that was a safety concern around here um safe safety for our dogs for us i mean it had to go it's just how it is
man guys look it looks so nice it actually turned out just like how I pictured it would <laughs> hopefully it stays this way though once it dries um, Anthony read the instructions and it does say to do two coats right yeah it said like wait six hours and then come back through and do another coat and then it's like what 72 hours before you can start using it for you know on with food yeah it says wash it wait 72 hours and then wash it like with water yeah just wipe it down with water before you like have direct food contact on it yeah um but, i mean we're gonna be a ways away from that anyway yeah but it does look very nice i hope um i hope it does stay a little darker i'm sure it's gonna lighten up a little bit um but even if so that's all right it looks really good this stuff is great yeah and maybe it won't lighten up after it dries and you do two coats of that. You yeah, know what I mean? Not. Maybe it'll hold the color. Or <laughs> I guess the the oil. <laughs> maybe yeah, it'll mean, hold the oil. That's basically what it is. It's yeah. It's oil and finish. So there's probably like a hint of some kind of stain you know, in it, natural. It's dark. Oh yeah, bit. yeah. I mean, it's like it's red. Yeah. Yeah. The can's not red, it's just that color of yeah, it. Yeah, so. yeah, just the oil in there. Yep. So yeah. It might stay dark for a little bit. Um, I mean, this is something I guess we're going to have to kind of do like on a regular basis to help the wood from like drying out. You know how yeah, like, yeah. we have butcher block cutting boards, you know, you got to maintain them so they don't, you know, shrivel up, which has happened to us in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, and this is the same thing. <laughs> yeah, same concept, you know. We're going to leave them outside to let them uh, for like, it says six hours. So we'll leave them outside, let them dry, and we'll do the second coat, and then we'll bring them back in because it is supposed to rain tomorrow. But I say it is time to get those cabinets installed. Yes, let's go work on those. We're like super pros now at it, guys. You know. Yeah. So uh, you know, we can do like the whole top ones in like one day. We can do all these in one day. We're like professionals. Now. Yeah, and there's not as many I don't think on the bottom as there is no. on the top because the pantry we don't have to install that. It's already yeah. there. Got all the base cabinets in here. We took care of that yesterday. But uh, Anthony's got to put up. A nailer right here in the corner and that's specifically for when the countertops on so that way in the back corner there it has a place to rest because the lazy Susan that there is that goes there doesn't go you know how they make the lazy Susans it just doesn't line up with that corner like it sticks out from the wall but I also want to go around and clean these floors and mop them and get them really nice and clean because like I was just telling Anthony this will be the last time I see this flooring and at least I'll know in my mind that it's clean back there. All right. Now that's gonna brace, I think you already said it, but that'll brace the back corner. So just simple two pieces of scrap two by four. Then we're in business. You should use your square for the corner right here to make sure it's. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's square. I mean, can't really get more square than that. Pretty square. Should I just do it all the way down? Uh, I just tighten it all the way up. I'm going to do the back too. Like everything, yeah. Might as well secure it all the way in place then. Okay, well, let me. Yeah. I don't know if you want to leave the screws a little loose. No, I'm going to. Yeah, I just. Just in case you finagle it a little bit. Yeah, it needs to move for some reason. I would get them screwed in on the back. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. You know what the best thing is, guys, about building your own stuff? You know where everything's at. You just have to double check sometimes. But I know for a fact there's no wires right here. Like for a fact. So I'm not even worried about hitting a wire, you know? Alright. So I'm gonna need my clip. 
clamps on this one. We're on number two now, guys, and it's exciting stuff, and it looks so good. I think so. <laughs> yeah, like, um, it's nice, because we've been staring at these ones just on the wall, and it's, oh, I want to see what it looks like with the bottom ones on, too, so. I'm not really too much of a help today. Um, at least, yes, you are. at least when we did the wall ones, I got to like hold the cabinets up. So you know that was a pretty important job. But on the floor ones, I don't really need to hold them. I just bring them over and then stand here and look cool. Stand there and look pretty. <laughs> yeah, let's stand here and look pretty. <laughs> What about pushing it? That's what makes me feel like oh, maybe we should like screw these together first or something. <laughs> you know, I don't get it. Man, those, these are flush. It's just down here. Huh? It's almost flush. It's like such a hair, you know, if that makes sense. Could about, what about loosening up these ones from the back so you can bring it out a little bit? We learned a little something because uh, it was lined up on the top, but it was kind of like wonky on the bottom. So we had to like unscrew it from the wall and piece them together. And now we're going to put them in the position. So that's probably how we're going to have to do the the sink and then the, that 12 incher that we have right here and then attach the um, lazy susan i guess to it right yeah yeah so. we have to do a piece at a time i mean like i said the walls are not 100 percent perfectly square yeah no so but as long as the front is good and it's level yeah and plumb yeah that's what's good because this is going to be sticking out a little bit past the wall on some of these anyway because this wall is 100 percent square remember i said it was like a quarter of an inch off yeah so we just got to compensate with that by making sure these are square together with that. Yeah. And we're good. Yeah. Well, we seem to have a new pet in the house. I wouldn't even say it's a pet. Where did it go? He's right here hanging out. Yeah, so this spider's been in here. Right there. Just a little spider. So I'll have to clean these out before we put anything away. Yep. You know, but... <laughs> I'll vacuum up that spider. <laughs> okay. So we're going to tie this one together with that one first. The 12, right? Yeah. Well, that's the only one left besides the... Yeah. <laughs> the, the only other one left. <laughs> and we'll line everything up. Yeah, it looks good. Um. I'm gonna change a little bit. You know? Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's my trusty laser, uh, laser. 
So we're really gonna make sure that these two are in line of each other. Oh yeah, it's... Yeah, he's, he's, not, well. yeah, he's not playing around, guys, so hopefully we're good. We don't have to move anything around. Let's see how much it's off it's gonna oh, go. Oh, see, yeah. Uh, it's hard to tell on camera, but it's off just... So what does it need to go, forward or back? Yeah, this way. Of course, Anthony accidentally bumped the, <laughs> the laser level and it moved it. But well, I'm just using this as like a guide, you know? Yeah, no, and, and it's what it should be. Yeah, so yes, that worked out pretty good. Whoop, you're hitting it on the bottom. Where? So Anthony is going to be attaching uh, our kitchen base sink to the wall here. He's just looking for the, the studs because we did not put nailers behind where the sink's at. That's all right. I don't know why, but we didn't. Um, no, we forgot. We forgot. It's just on one of those. That one little wall. Yeah, it's just one of those little things, I guess. But we did have a couple little issues. Not a couple, it's one issue with our lazy Susan here. Um, trying to get it lined up and square and making sure that it's, you know, even across, you know, between the two where the stove's going and. We had to like maneuver it and undo it and screw it back in and it took a couple times, but I think we got it. Yeah. We figured out that we're going to have to kind of raise the door up a little bit because even when it's, it's, it's perfectly level. It's level all the way yeah, across yeah, here. You guys look, it's completely level. Yeah, it's perfectly level. It's perfectly level with the blocks in the back corner over there. Um, but we'll look at this gap. Yeah. That's what I want to show you guys. So the door keeps rubbing. Well, yeah, it's rubbing on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. And look how much of a gap is here. Yeah, it's a big gap. And this is like on the very bottom. Yeah. And so what we're going to have to do is take this door out and it's going to be a pain in the you know what, because this whole thing doesn't even come out. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> we tried. So I'm going to have to take these screws out, somehow lift this door up quarter of an inch and then screw it back in and then make sure it's straight um, to close up this gap up here so it stops rubbing yeah because um, right now even if you put any weight right here on this thing I mean it's gonna rub even more and this is where our pans and stuff are gonna go so little adjustments need to be made on this thing but I blame the manufacturer for this one because we didn't do nothing wrong well, we got all the cabinets secure and in place, and I was just so excited. I asked Anthony, can we put the oven back? Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Well, plus we want to make sure it all fits. We yeah, we have it. It's a little tight. But... It's going to be a little tight, and it's going to be a straight shot in. I guess I should help Anthony push this in. I can, I can do it. You can do it, okay? It's, it's a little... You just got to make sure you're going in it straight. Yep. Like a glove. Wow, we were very worried about that. Well, because you know, when we first started, I think it's in there all the way. Yeah, just making sure. Yeah, look at that, guys. <laughs> it fits in there. It fits in there pretty good. Yeah, it fits in there perfect. I'm gonna have to clean this stove though, it's kind of dirty. Yes, um, this stove <laughs> definitely needs a very deep clean. I have not cleaned it or anything since we moved it over here from your mom's house. Yeah, <laughs> I need it's to do that. Good. But it's looking really, really good and everything fits perfect, which 
Thank goodness, because that was a big worry and stress of ours. <laughs> now I'm really anxious, babe, to get the doors and drawers back in. Oh yeah, we can do that. You that's, know? That's easy mode. Yeah, let's see how it all looks. <laughs> well, the time has come, guys. We're gonna have to cut our countertops. I really hope I don't mess this up. We've been doing pretty good at it so far to keep a straight line. I wish I had a track saw. I don't. I probably should have went and bought one for this, but just to make sure it's perfectly straight. But I have confidence in me and Roxanne's ability to do it. So let's get cutting this thing to length. Let me ask you, how did it feel to cut that? <sighs> Scary, because I know that this piece right here was almost $400. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm cutting my money away. Yeah, this is a... We don't really trust our eyeballs. <laughs> got the countertops put on. We still need to cut out for the sink, but we have to get our sink. Yeah. But check it out, guys. Good in here. I'm like I mentioned. I mean, I'm just thrilled. I can't wait to actually like put this kitchen to hard work. But <laughs> <laughs> I still need my sink. I mean, the heart of the kitchen is still down for now. But I know that is coming. We're going to town tomorrow, guys. Yeah, it's coming very, tomorrow. very soon. So I can so hold one out. day without a sink and one day left. Yeah, I, a couple days maybe. You know. So I was so nervous, guys, to take this countertop and cut like the 45 degree angle right here that most countertops have, right? And so I came up with this. None of this stuff is glued down yet, but I came up with this, right? And I said, it's such a small piece. Why waste a, a big piece to cut an angle? And then maybe I mess up on the angle and it doesn't fit right and it's unsquare. So I think <laughs> that's perfect. And I'm just gonna put some silicone right here like you would on the 45 anyway. And it looks like it's all one big piece, yeah. in my opinion, right here. It, yeah. it really, really does. I'm yeah. standing here, guys, where my kitchen sink's gonna be, and I figured I'd show you guys what the view looks like. But don't mind the window, because there is no trim on it yet. But hope, hey, but hey, hope. I've been busy around here. Yeah, so all right, good. one window left to be trimmed in the whole house, and I gotta this, hear about this it. This is the, last, of the, uh, the yeah. last window in the house, and of course it's the kitchen, but I know that's coming very soon, too. Well. Yes, I wanted to wait until this was done so mm -hmm. I knew everything was going to fit. Yeah. I wasn't sure if the cabinets were going to be over more or not in yeah, my defense. We, yeah, because you know the trim's big, right? Yeah. So we want to make sure there's space. So, so now, I, I, I guess get it. I no, get no defense or no excuse now. It's yeah, gonna get no done, excuse. So I'll get it done. I'm going to crack that whip. <laughs> I'll get it done. I'll get it done. <laughs> so check out this view. <laughs> well, there it is, the view. And if you guys notice, Jane is over there doing what she does best and loafing. I'm sure more is not far away loafing somewhere. But isn't it nice? I can see like the entire backyard. Eventually this shelf right here will be gone, but it looks so nice. So one more thing that we're gonna be getting when we go into the big city tomorrow yeah. is, what are we getting? Well, I guess it's not a backsplash. Like a backsplash is like up on the wall. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I forget the name of it, but it's basically the little piece that comes up behind Right, so like a splash guard or whatever, I don't know. They sell them in butcher block. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's gonna be, you know, a two and a half inch piece going across 
all the way around. So if you spill water, something doesn't hit the wall directly. Yeah, and, and fall in behind there. And yeah, stuff and like so that. we're gonna get that, and then eventually we are gonna do a actual backsplash. Yes, I do have plans for this wall here. I just haven't. We're not a hundred percent sure what yet. Yeah, I'm still kind of going back and forth with that, but I do have an idea, and I just yeah. haven't gotten any materials yet or anything. So. But it yep. looks good. It looks great. Yeah, and I think with, the, with I'm gonna call it a backsplash. I don't know what it's called, but I think with that, it's gonna look really good even with just that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna change the feel. Oh really? Yeah. I never would've guessed. <laughs> Changing the feel again, yeah. huh? Hmm. Well, babe, I hope you're happy with your kitchen. I do, I love it. I know more neat work still needs to be done, but it's a kitchen. It is, it it's is. It's a working a, kitchen. An official kitchen, it is. I mean, it's been a working, kitchen for a while but a real kitchen guys uh, this is such a huge upgrade for me yes this is the last upgrade for this house oh yeah we only we only have a couple more things to do and we are like i know done like we're the, like we're so close i bet you i can't even show you how close we are to be done with this house <laughs> like that's how close we are we love this kitchen yeah. so far. Um, it didn't take us too long to install in all reality. No. It really didn't. Mm -mm. I guess we can say that for sure this time. It didn't take that long. No, it didn't take that long. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't mess anything up too much. I mean, I think it's going to be great. I think so too. I mean, it's very well put together. I mean, we did plan like the blocking and all that stuff, which I'm glad we did because I'm sure that's going to help with support. For all these cabinets and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and so. I went crazy on the screws. There's like eight in each cabinet. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure we're we're good. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for being here, guys. We really appreciate you guys watching our videos. It means a lot to us. Yes. We appreciate you guys. Stay safe. Stay motivated. And I guess we will catch you all on the next one. Bye. Bye.